each one armed with sharp jaws and raptor-like legs, lined with spikes. This master of disguise is an East African praying mantis, one of many varieties. The textures, shapes, and colors of their bodies cloak them from their enemies, as well as the small insects and animals that they hunt. Few insects are more equipped for tracking targets. They can turn their triangular heads a full 180 degrees and rotate them to look over their shoulders. Sensitive compound eyes detect the slightest movement of prey an astonishing 60 feet away. For low light hunting, they rely on a single ultrasound ear mounted on their upper body section. There are nearly as many mantis disguises and species as there are places to hide. The dainty floral hues on this flower mantis help it ambush and eat hummingbirds. Other species masquerade as dried leaves and twigs. But all varieties share a common and peculiar appetite for love. The only time a mantis stops eating is to mate. And for this female, the time has come. She's found a male. The only question now is whether he's ready to die for the privilege. This female praying mantis could take down a small bird, but today she is driven by sex and not hunger. She wants to mate with this smaller male, but it's so early in the season, he's not that interested. His reluctance might save his life because once females are fertilized, they decapitate their males and eat their brains for energy. But his refusal has made the female take another look at him, this time as food. He tries to fend her off with blows from his raptor-like forelegs. But the female continues to advance. Suddenly, she unfurls her wings, perhaps to balance a lethal strike with her powerful jaws. Facing a gruesome death, the weaker male has only one option left. Coming up, it's a deadly duel between two camouflaged killers. For every successful creature coupling, there are dozens more that don't work out. This male praying mantis has just escaped the voracious jaws of the female falling over 50 times his body length. His strong outer skeleton barely saves his life. While he's now a safe distance from the female, the fight has drained his energy reserves. Now, he's hungry. There's a rustle in the leaves nearby. His target walks on six legs, 18 knees, and can run up to three miles per hour. Cockroaches, originated in Africa and Asia 250 million years ago, 
and now occupy almost every corner of our planet. The mantis is so motionless and camouflaged, the roach walks straight into the strike zone. In real time, the attack is too fast to see, but the awesome speed and precision of the strike are revealed when the action is 60 times slower. The mantis captures the cockroach in 50 thousandths of a second. Now it's time for the kill. Using the blades of his jaws, the male paralyzes the roach with a deep bite to the neck. Now he eats it alive. Roach bodies are so primitive, they can actually live for a week without their heads. By keeping his head, the mantis escaped a lethal attack and the threat of starvation for now. In East Africa, most victories are short-lived. In real time, the strike is a blur. Slow down 200 times, it's nothing short of awesome. The tip of the tongue has a club-like muscle covered in sticky mucus that acts like a suction cup. Specialized muscles inside the chameleon's mouth fire the tongue at roughly 15 miles per hour, hitting the cricket in 30 thousandths of a second. The prey is then whipped back into the lizard's power. Dinner path, careless enough to linger, becomes part of the lunch menu. She'll give this solitary digging wasp some space because its sting is highly toxic. <laughs> Confronted by threats like this, chameleons stagger their walk. Biologists theorize it's a deceptive tactic to mimic a blowing leaf. The African bullfrog, one of the biggest frogs on the planet. This one weighs over four pounds. The rain brings out another predator too. This nasty looking face belongs to an odd species called the rain frog. It can't hop or swim, and its legs are so short it practically drags its body along as it hunts for insects to eat. Their main defense is a repellent slime that oozes from their skin. Most animals leave them alone, but most doesn't mean all. The herald snake. Armed with fangs and mild venom, this three-foot male is active during the rains, and frog is one of his favorite snacks. 
Locked on his target, the snake zeroes in. Within minutes, he's in striking distance. The rain frog can't outrun the snake. Instead, he puffs himself up. This defense is designed to deter predators like snakes that swallow their prey whole. But the herald snake has a strategy of its own. He strikes his prey from behind, the narrowest part of the rain frog. The herald snake is a bully feeder and doesn't have to kill small prey. Instead, it eats them alive. As the rain frog struggles to survive inside the snake's belly, the process of digestion has already begun. Within a few minutes, he's picked up the scent of another frog. But this one's looking forward to the visit. African bullfrogs are ambush predators, and this one is a dirty fighter. The only question now is whether he's bitten into more than he can chew. And the answer this time is yes. Nearby, a competitor appears. Unlike their monkey namesakes, baboon spiders do not protect and care for each other. Given the chance, they'd rather eat each other instead. And that's what's on the mind of spider number two. Spider number one is willing to oblige. Exposing their fangs, each male hopes to land a death blow. Since hundreds of spiders can hatch from the eggs of a single female, competition for territory and food leads to these violent battles. But this one ends with a stalemate. As the males head back to their burrows, number one passes another night hunter, one of the few he'd rather not mess with, a distant relative of the tick. This is no passive bloodsucker. Its claws are made for grasping prey in a death grip. And at the end of its eight-inch armored body is a gland-like vesicle filled with venom and tipped by a stinger. the East African Scorpion. Now this huge female strikes a defensive pose called the alert stance. She's moved her stinger to the ready position because facing her now is a threat 20 times her size. While it has no stingers, it's covered by thousands of sharp defensive quills. Like the scorpion, it's a solitary hunter, and it's hungry. While its hearing is acute, its nose is adapted to pick up strange smells. And tonight, they found the scent of the scorpion. The East African Hedgehog. Hedgehog nips the scorpion on the claw, almost begging to be stung. Just as the scorpion strikes, its armored body is crushed in two. 
Hedgehogs are 40 times more resistant to venom than other mammals their size. 